short time. I'm sleepy. Alright, my cleaning cloth is here. right now. I guess I can open this ref. Which, that's something we could do after I finish emotes, because I feel like emotes aren't going to take me too long. Let's start working on my new ref sheet. Since... Okay, so let's work on the base for this first. I need to drink some water. My fucking. I took a nap. And after I take a nap, my mouth, my face is, my face and mouth is always so dry. The reason I'm late is because I took a nap, because I ate too much food, so I needed a nap to sleep off my f giant fool tummy. I recently changed up how I'm drawing faces. I did actually do that practice I said I would. Some of it on paper, some of it, some of it digital. But the digital one is NSFW. Ugh. Let me open my book that is physical. That can reference. Strangely good on my paper. Oh, hi, social dudes. How you doing? Bye -bye. Here it is. So opening how I drew a, uh, a snoop earlier. That's how I want to draw it. Oh, 
wires aren't connected. not have this line here. Head and the body are going to be in different layers, but so you have to remember not to accidentally draw that. is on a different layer because of the other ones. Now this ear looks good though, so I'm just gonna take it onto a new layer. Social dance theory, I don't think uh, he answered.
No, because they're both better. When I do my rough sheet, I may change how the hair works. Because this hair does work a bit weird. Why is um did sorry about break? I just realized that we're still in um we're still in shield mode. Sorry about is supposed to turn that off. And we're still in email only too. Because sorry mode's supposed to turn that off when I go live, and I just realized it hasn't at all. Sorry, bots down. Yeah, I've been doing good. Okay, so it turned off subscriber only and emote only, but I didn't turn off shield mode. That's weird. So I have two bots in my DMs. This is weird. Maybe it kept them on because it detected bots. So I have two bots in my DM. <laughs> on Twitch, specifically. That might be why it was still on. I mean, I don't think it can detect my DMs thing up. Here's the ref I was going to open, and I wasn't. I've been doing good.
do my nose itches. I think that's it for this layer. The bed. Also... Uh, these should probably be on separate layers. Finish uh, the ear. On the ear layer. shown the other day that I didn't quite know. So you know how like scammers are like the goal of a scammer is to find like the stupidest people? Like cause you know only the stupidest people would fall for the scam. Or for like most scams. Apparently like scams that have like really bad um grammar in them that like are obvious, you know, red flags that they're a scam, or the, the bad grammar is intentional because it it more quickly gets rid of smart people. Like, like I kind of knew that, like, I, I knew, I knew, for example, that the, that, you know, they only, you know, you don't have to care too. They don't have to care too much about some details because the, the the target is dumb people. But I didn't know that like bad grammar in scams was actually like intentional. But that's like apparently part of it. You got to get rid of the dummy dums. Or the smarty smarts, I mean. If you're. <laughs> You're smart enough to ignore an email asking for ten thousand dollars that has like eighty grammatical errors in it. Then you're too smart if, if you if you figure that out. What you would do hypothetically? sketching recently on paper because I rarely do paper is that I'm actually pretty decent at, at like going referenceless referenceless when it's on paper like I did a quite a bit last week on my in my like physical book but like when I'm on digital I I don't know, it just feels too different for me to go referenceless. Yeah. Hey. 
totally not a scammer. <laughs> Completely innocent. Your your investments are 100% legal and legit. Also, social dancer, I did not see your message until just now. Your DM telling me it's an email only. Thing is, it wasn't an email only. It was in it was in shield mode, which I forget what shield mode even does exactly. But it's Twitch's new thing. It's so weird. I don't know why it was like that. Well, I do know why it was like that. Because it goes into shield mode when I go offline, but a bot that I have is supposed to turn it off when I go online. I guess the bot's just down? Like, I don't know why it's off. Yeah, it only lets, like, VIPs and shit talk. I'm surprised you were able to use emotes. But there are different levels of shield mode. So maybe one of the shield modes is emote only. For non-verified users. I don't know why I was in there. Or I don't know why the bot's down. This bot's really good about not going down. I'm gonna open Suribot's channel because I'm curious. Is the bot down? Everyone is in their chat right now redoing their Suribot. Because <laughs> that's how you set up Suribot. You go to their channel and you you type things in. So I guess Suribot like de disconnected. verified and everything from everyone's chat so everyone's fixing it I'll have to do that later I'm not doing it now sorry about it's kind of annoying to set up yeah, I like this song it's funny This is my favorite parody song in my playlist. change how I do these markings nearly every time I do them. I need to reset them in stone because Don't 
connect to the eyes, but a lot of people draw them with them connected to the eyes. So I might make this how it's drawn now. Well, it doesn't matter. Almost everyone just draws it like that anyway. <laughs> just draws it like a triangle. It's a curved triangle, man. Yeah, it's not visible on the speak at all. Sometimes it works like a charm. Today it sucks. are going to be visible, but just in case we'll draw the shoulder lines in. Oh, that wasn't that hard. I thought there was more visible than that. I mean, yeah, you can. Why not? Why does my music feel so loud? Steam four. I think that should be it for the base that I'm doing.
where's the gap in the line art? <laughs> oh, I didn't set it as a reference. I set it as a as a draft. That's why. Okay. nickname me on Steam. I changed my name a lot for TF2 purposes. say those could be the same layer but not the back one. Oh, I thought that was with someone else. I, I it's been a while, sorry. I thought that was with someone else, but yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Also, another reason I need a new ref is that I changed the color of the hair a while back, and the new the ref doesn't. I guess most people most people don't even like take the the color of the hair off the ref anyway, so it's not like it matters, but it bothers me. This is the hair color now. Once I have a better ref sheet, I won't have to reference this profile picture I made myself anymore. Right. Dang it, uh, I did not make a color layer, that was all in a vector layer. Layer. There we go. Ew. 
Okie dokie. I have the perfect base for the emote. Which means... Oop. Put the, the construction lines on top. easier if I do this. Should I do line weight on this? Because I should decide that before I do the rest. Should I line weight this? Because I have been line weighting my recent art pieces a little. Like, not during the lining process, but after the lining process, I will go in and use the line art thickener and thinner. If 
feel like maybe no. And then if I need more pop, I'll thicken the outside line art, which is different, but... add friend on my steam i'm 98 percent sure it's linked to my discord so you can just do that on Steam? Okay, I'll just DM you my friend code then. Thought I had it linked to Steam. Add friend, copy friend code. Wamp, it's in your DMs. No one uses the friend codes in Steam. I mean, I also have a custom link on my page, but no one uses the friend codes. People always ask for the link. It's like, they added friend codes for a reason. They had them, like, in, like, 2019, I think. And no one uses them. People add me, they never... They also made the one time... I thought you did play it recently, Salamander. Do you uninstall it again? <laughs> I also added the one-time friend, or the one-time friend links, but no one uses those. Mostly because the thing when sites add stuff like new, like, links, and no one uses them, they just look more suspicious. Like, if I sent you a link that was s.team s.team is what the the like domain for steam friend codes are s.team that that looks like a scam link like steam <laughs> that looks like a scam link no one's gonna use those i'm not gonna send anyone an s.team link for them to add me as a friend. It, lo it looks like I'm trying to fish you if I send you that. Like... <laughs> like this. That. That's what the Steam links are for se for sending a quick invite to your friend. That looks like a phishing link. Like obviously there's like eight things after it that's like your that connects them to your profile page, but if you saw that followed by a bunch of random numbers and letters, you would not trust it. <laughs> you would not fucking trust that. Not in a million. I know what I know what it is, and I still wouldn't trust it. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a fishing link. <laughs> they really don't think that through. Like 
like YouTube shortened URLs when they started making those, which is the U dot what what is it? It's it's U dot it's U2 dot B E. When YouTube started making those, they looked a bit fishy. But like con considering that they like they added those in like 2014, so it's been a long time. But when they added those, it started looking fishy. But at least like whenever you copied a link, it would it would do that. Like when you hit share video, it would give you that kind of link. So people got quickly used to them. There's no reason to send someone your fucking s dot team link. <laughs> Because now we have friend codes, or you, what, what's kind of faster is clicking on your account, clicking copy page URL, and then just pasting the page URL. That's also just faster. <laughs> like, that's way faster, too. <laughs> Why do you look up names? That takes so long. Oh wow, Steam's doing a... <laughs> Steam did a recap. I forgot they did that. Recap of the games you played. Apparently I spent most of my game... Most of my time playing Hero Shooters, Strategy, Stealth, VR, and card games with a tiny little bit in Surreal. I'm guessing Stealth and Surreal are from Signalus. <laughs> VR is like the three times I've played VR chat. And I guess TF2 technically has VR support. Because I don't know why the VR, like, in my top six categories, I don't know why VR is so high. I opened VR chat like twice. To play with like three people once. So maybe it's because TF2 technically has a VR mode <laughs> that no one uses. <laughs> TF2 VR is actually like, if you boot it up, I'm pretty sure I've heard that it is busted. Like kind of overpowered, but no one uses it because who wants to play TF2 like that? <laughs> There's no way Splitgate was 44% 40 of my playtime. What? Not this year. I haven't played Splitgate since, like, November of last year. <laughs> Why does Splitgate say... Or is this not, like... Or is this just overall, like, all games I've played on Steam? Look at my Steam thing. There's no way. Oh yeah, well no, yeah, it is including last year. Because Tome is on here, and I haven't played Tome since December of last year. <laughs> when I was streaming the entire game again. Man, Steam recap is busted. <laughs> it's showing me last year's one. <laughs> that would also explain why. Oh yeah, it says 2022 recap. Why is it showing my 2022 recap? <laughs> it was like, hey, you wanna look at your Steam recap? And it opens the last year one. <laughs> I was so confused, because that would explain. I did open VR chat quite a bit in 2022 for like two people. Which means the surreal was not Signal, so it was probably Hyperbolica, because I played that last year when it came out. Steve, why'd you even open my recap if it's gonna be last year's recap? <laughs> Fucking idiot. God damn it, Steam, you're confusing the shit out of me. I'm like, I didn't play. I literally have not even installed <laughs> Splitgate this year. I wonder how active Splitgate still is. Because it was a fairly active game for still being kind of small. But they announced, like, last year that they were going to stop updating it. So that the devs can... Because it was, like, 
it was too difficult for the devs to work on it. So that they were going to make another Splitgate-like game. But, you know, it's kind of, like, I, I kind of get it. Where it's like, it's kind of hard to just update a one thing than it is to make an entirely new thing. Because, like, let's say they wanted to overhaul the physics engine. That's not something you could just do in an update. <laughs> so they kind of said that they were going to work on a new game that is like Splitgate. And for those who don't know, Splitgate's a first-person shooter that is essentially Halo plus the Portal games from Valve. You shoot portals around and you kill people with guns. It's really fun and actually really balanced. They did the map design in that game is great. I don't think there's a single bad map. Like you might think, oh, that can get really campy with portals. There's like one map that gets campy with portals. But like, it's just a game sense thing. If you know where all the portals are, you can quick peek where you know most people place portals and like shoot a sniper shot into them and kill whoever's camping a portal. Like pretty easily. Like that game's balanced. <laughs> and I'm kind of glad they stopped updating the game because <laughs> they stopped releasing seasons in the season that I wasn't playing as much, which means I don't lose access but basically, that season is permanently going on, and part of that season was golden weapons. And some of the challenges to get your golden weapons were stupid hard. <laughs> and I still didn't get them done. <laughs> so, hey, I, I can probably still log in and grind for a gold weapon. I might boot it up, see if it's an active game still. The casual mode in that game was fun. So was the competitive. It's a good game. I liked it. I will say, I don't know. I don't know. I bet I don't think anyone here is going to open and play Splitgate after I recommend it, especially since I, it's been dead for almost a year now in terms of updates. And I doubt it's going to have TF2 longevity. <laughs> if you ever play it, uh, change your key, change the keybinds. I think the default keybinds are kind of butt. Like, for example, look, first off, if you're playing a first-person shooter on a computer, never use the scroll wheel for changing weapons. I mean, because you every every first person shooter will allow one, two, three to change weapons, and that's just a pro tip for every game. Never use the scroll wheel; it's way too imprecise. That being said, my close portal buttons I bound to scroll wheel up and scroll wheel down to close my portals, because I think by default it's like J and K, which are like you know, in a weird spot of the of the keyboard. <laughs> And I cannot draw this out. I remember someone like I was cued with was really mad at me for being toxic in Splitgate. But like that game, it because it's like it's basically Halo plus Portal, it's it sort of encourages you to be toxic. And when the game encourages you to be toxic, anytime you're actually toxic, it isn't like Anytime you do something that would be stereotypically toxic isn't toxic, if that makes sense. Like, they have an entire game mode <laughs> that you can only get points if after you kill someone, you teabag them. That's one of the game modes. Like, you know, encouraging the classic toxic behavior <laughs> of, like, games like Halo. Like you have to teabag people to get points in that in that game mode. It's really funny. I I, I really like playing that game mode because it's just funny. <laughs> like you can't get mad when someone's teabagging you when that's what you have to do. <laughs> Fun.
I don't know, that just led me to like be teabagging in non in the normal game modes because it's just funny because they also have like you hear like an audience like clapping like like going whoa let's go every time you teabag someone in that game it's like they have a built-in thing for it it's pretty funny <laughs> so like you can't like, i don't know why like the person i was queuing with was getting mad at me for doing that and i'm like why it's not like i'm actually being toxic <laughs> you know it's like taunting in tf2 no one cares if you taunt in tf2 like no other tf2 player cares unless they're a salty little baby like because that's just like the that's the community that's the culture like it's not actually toxic to to, to taunt on someone's death <laughs> I'm sure they added the taunts in TF2 to to be toxic, but I don't know. When the game is encouraging you to be toxic, being toxic is not rude. <laughs> it's expected. Now that's my perspective on it. I cannot. These eyes do not look right to me. I've been fiddling with them for like 10 minutes now. Like, I'm sure when taunting first came to TF2, when, like, the, the laugh taunt first came out, I'm sure people were pissed when they got taunted. <laughs> but now it's like, okay, do you care? Do you actually care? <laughs> if someone pops the shorten Frada on you, do you actually, do you get salty? No, you laugh. I mean, sometimes I get a little salty. It depends on the situation of the taunt. Like, there's some people you know they think they're hot shit. Like, you know some people use the short and Freda and think they're hot shit. That's when it feels a little toxic. But, like, usually people who think they're hot shit suck at the game, so you can usually just whoop their ass, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> It's that simple. Dude, I got someone mad at me the other day for... I, I got someone mad at... Like, I'm not that good of a sniper, but I've been getting a lot better recently. So I fully overhauled how I... Like, my TF2 settings to be better. And I got this guy mad. I wasn't even good. He got mad at me for killing him as sniper. To the point, like, no, I don't remember how much I recorded, and I don't. My recordings are unnamed, so it took me a while to find it. But he said, like, like apparently, I didn't even notice that he was doing it the entire match. But every time I killed him as sniper, he would swap to sniper and kill me back for like one kill and then switch back to whatever he was playing. I didn't notice he was doing this because why would I? I'm playing two for it, by the way. The map where snipers just shoot each other back and forth for fun. You know, as like, just sort of like, I'm bored. Let's just shoot other snipers. <laughs> you know, shoot anyone else who maybe crosses your sight line. And this guy, apparently he's been doing this for like 30 minutes. And I didn't notice because how would I notice that someone's being salty and swapping to sniper to kill me every time I kill them? Like, I, I, I'm just saying, how would I notice that? And then, because because the reason I figured out he was doing that is because he said he was doing it. He was like, he like shot me with the sniper. And he, no, I no, I headshot him as, um, no, I didn't headshot him. I body shot him. He was a soldier on low health. <laughs> and he said, he said like, you bitch, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson? Every time you snipe, every time you headshot me, I headshot you. And I am like, but I body shot you. And he said, you know what? Fuck you. And he swaps to soldier and starts like trying to only kill me for like the next like five minutes. Maybe like 10 minutes. I don't remember how long it was. And I'm like, dude, you're, th you're throwing a hissy fit on two fort. <laughs> 
calm down. <laughs> like he would literally friendly for every other player except me. So that he could have full access to just killing me. And I'm like, you're throwing a temper tantrum on two fort. <laughs> And eventually he just like rage quit the game because I wasn't reacting to him killing me because it's two fort. <laughs> Why would I react to you killing me? It's two fort. <laughs> if anything, I think I made him angrier. Like, I don't think he let off any steam on that because when I play a sniper, something funny I like to do, I have a strange uh, piss. So I'll just run around and throw piss at people. And even if I don't like do damage or get the kill, I'll just type piss into the chat after I throw piss at people. And it's it's funny. They Everyone who I do it to finds it hilarious. But this guy, every time I did it to him after he started, you know, hard targeting me, he got really mad. <laughs> he got more mad at me. <laughs> He's like, how dare this guy have fun when I'm trying to ruin his fun? <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm just having fun. <laughs> throwing, throwing piss at you. <laughs> We're playing a game where we where we can throw jars of piss at each other. Are you, are you going to be salty about it? <laughs> the answer was yes, he was. He didn't care. <laughs> It was, it was baffling. I didn't record much of it because I didn't think to. Because why would I? I thought he was just going to let off some steam, like shoot a few pot shots at me and then give up. But no, he did it for like 10 minutes. <laughs> Your little baby boy. Funny, funny part is the entire chat started making fun of him as soon as he rage quit. I didn't even realize he rage quit. It was a silent, seething rage quit. <laughs> and for those who don't play TF2, in the TF2 community, when you're playing, like, 2 fort, ma two fort matches last forever, because no one does the objective on 2 fort. We just, it's just, we just kill each other on 2 fort. That's what 2 fort's for. And usually when someone leaves a 2 fort match, they'll be like, all right, guys, gotta go. I'm queuing. Bye bye. You know, they'll say bye because you know, you play with, like, the same people for, like, 40 minutes to an hour. <laughs> you know, you, you become momentary friends. <laughs> Oops, this is not you become momentarily best friends with everyone on the server. Oh, that's the... this. Oops, I was confused. <laughs> the fact that he didn't say bye to anyone and no one <laughs> kind of shows that he was like, no one liked him. He was just being a salty little baby boy. Little salty baby. I was going to open his TF2 profile after I, you know, after he left and type piss on his um, profile, but that day the TF2 thingy was down to like view player, view players profiles that you recently played with. It wasn't working like the entire day and it wasn't working when I wanted to message him. So, rip. I really wanted to. So funny.
need to actually start like editing my clips together because I like a lot of the clips I've been taking. Because Steve do such like low everything that I can run a replay buffer. Well, actually, now that my computer is just better, I can probably run a replay buffer on like every game I play. But I can replay buffer the games I do. There's so many funny clips I've been building up. I need to just like make a just a clip compilation, clip montage. Okie dokie. Have a good sleep. I'm redoing this eye again, it looks bad. sides still. I'm just gonna redo both eyes, fuck it. Mine what what there is this mine on? <laughs> I'm only gonna take two more mic off the top of my head. Because it's really funny. Oh, I thought. Oh, I thought Salamander said he was going to bed. Sorry. He's, good night, social cancer. Well, he have orange knees. I'm not finishing this art tonight. I already know. I'm going way too slow. Talking too much. today.
probably gonna be no eye highlights in this, especially because I'm not shading it, because you don't shade emotes really. that I was going to draw eyes like this when I made this rough sheet. I thought I was always going to draw eyes like this because I recently changed to drawing them like this when I made this rough sheet. And like three artworks later, I gave up. I said, nah, not drawing eyes like that. It doesn't really fit. It's like the main inspiration for my art style that I keep going back to is, uh... Yu-Gi-Oh's art style, which is why for a while, or sometimes I still do, all black, uh, iris, not irises, pupils, all black pupils, because that's how Yu-Gi-Oh does it. Like, they use the same color of the line art as the pupils. But I figured that's a bit much for my art style. To go full black, so it's just mostly black. I might do another study on the Yu-Gi-Oh art style. Maybe shift my art more that way. The thing that's hard about studying the Yu-Gi-Oh art style is that there are no animal characters in Yu-Gi-Oh. So, it's like, like, if I'm referencing it, what do I do when I'm drawing like an actual animal? <laughs> like I just have to find like three times a animal monster shows up in Yu-Gi-Oh, cool. <laughs> Because that doesn't happen very often. There's not many animal monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Strangely enough. There's a lot of dragons, there's a lot of fish, and then the rest are wizards and shit. Like, there's not, there's not many just, like, wolves running around in the Yu-Gi-Oh series. that one study I did. Hold on, I want to kind of show it. It's been, I don't think anyone here has seen it. Uh, I did like three back-to-back -back studies. So this one's a duplication study where I... I basically just took another art piece and my goal, or another screenshot of the Yu-Gi-Oh series, and my goal is to copy it identically without tracing. And this is what I got to. I think I did, I, I think I did, um, pick the colors, like screen pick the colors, because I am not doing that by hand. But otherwise, you know, I need to reference this. I did, I did good on this. Like, the way... Plus, considering I did do this, it will help me with, um, how hair is shaded in Yu-Gi-Oh. I still couldn't get it down, like, see? This is, like, a little weird in some parts, the shading. Yu-Gi-Oh shading is weird. Or it's just all anime hair shading. So for a while, I was copying clothing folds like this one. Yeah, I think I don't remember this for shading shit. I remember these ruffles took me forever. 
Because again, this was the goal of this was to copy a thing that already exists, like identically. It was copy practice. So, like trying to get these to look exactly like what I was referencing. I don't even know if I have the reference anymore. I don't know where it would be. I probably sent it to someone in, in DM as well as working on this, but I don't know when. And immediately after that, I, th I think immediately. Uh, let me check the dates of it. Like May 28th. May 20th. Oh, no, this was... Okay. This, this next art piece was right before. Trying to do the exact Yu-Gi-Oh! art style. Shading and everything. Yeah, it didn't go out that well. Did I do an art piece after this to show what I learned? Because if I didn't, that's kind of dumb of me. Yeah. It's white. It's, it'll take forever to scroll backwards because I searched it up. That's not all of my art. It's just all the art that I tagged was that. So I, I don't want to scroll back that far on my art page to figure out what I drew after this. But I think I did a few art pieces to try doing the Yu-Gi-Oh art style. Where'd I put my pen? Here it is. designing characters because when I design a character I get really into it and thus I want it to be perfect thus it takes me fucking forever to design characters so I'm not designing a new one but not one of my characters because all my characters are fucking furries so and there's no furries in Yu-Gi-Oh so it's gonna be really hard I don't know, I keep... The fact that I keep drifting back to, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh art style, I feel like means that I probably should try practicing it more. But I don't know if I want to make it my permanent art style. I just might... I might... Because some artists have, like, around two or three art styles that they can swap between. I might try... I kind of want to try making the Yu-Gi-Oh art style my, like... Like, one that I can go back to and try every now and then, but... Because I don't think my character's hair could be translated into Yu-Gi-Oh. So... That's already new on making that permanent. feel about this but I think it doesn't look that good I 
I'm gonna compare it to the one I already have. Where do I save all this shit? Do I even have the angry one? I do. Well, first off, yeah, hi eye highlights. I, I said I wasn't gonna do them, but I completely forgot how much they add. So definitely eye highlights are being added in. <laughs> So this one. Oh, I didn't draw this part of the head. Whoops. Yoink, this line. The whole point is to make the make the emotes already have look better. Oh, so I got to add the border effect. on the thickened outline, no on that much thickness. Looks kind of weird here, so... send it to someone. I don't know if they're up. This was one of the ones I was concerned about not turning out good. The other ones I'm still pretty confident will turn out good. is the biggest issue. 
which is also the easiest fix. So that's good. on their own layer. I just don't think to do it. This is a reference. There we go. Also copy my um the way I do eye highlights pretty directly from Yu-Gi-Oh. Like you'll notice that this like pattern is almost always what the eyes are in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's another way I like I use Yu-Gi-Oh a lot. And why I kind of want to study it and learn it as like a second art style. Okay, I think the eye highlights were definitely holding it back. Let me resend it to my friend. Since I don't think they've seen it yet, so they're not they're not spoiled by it. The eye highlights were definitely holding it back. Mouth probably needs to have a thicker line art, but. We'll come back to it. Excuse me. This one I have a bit more confidence in. I'm so glad I found this video. Oh, I'm in the body or not the head section.
I would do a pull on the character I want to do in the Yu-Gi-Oh art style, but like for the monthly art pull, because I haven't set that up yet this month, because I don't know what to do for it. But I want to do this pretty immediately, so I don't want to wait until it pulls over to do it. I could do, I could do a common Rider character, like Haruto. Haruto's is, no, not Haruto's the one from Gotcha. What's, um, who's Kamen Rider Wizard? Haruto's Kamen Rider Gotcha. Who's Wizard? What is Haruto? Wait, then who's the Gotcha one? Haruto is, is Wizard. Similar names, like it's two syllables swapped around. <laughs> anyway, this is the character. He ha you can't see it on the screenshot. But he's up there. You can't see it on this screenshot, but he has the drip. Which is why I think he makes a really good candidate for drawing the cure stuff. Because <laughs> he got the drip. A little bit of a Judai. <laughs> a little bit of a Judai fucking... Okay, the place is looping now. Yeah, one second. Shush, music. Why are you looping? This is, I'm on shuffle. You shouldn't be looping. Do much with the with these. Uh, da, 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 da. Good thing I still have the full version of this one downloaded. Yeah, I used whites on. critique for this is that I have too many sweat drops on it, so I think I will tone it back a little. This one. Move this one down. do another sweat drop somewhere like here and 
and then the rest is coloring. choose a different red, I don't know. I think I will have to go for a more pink color, but... Fuck, what, what, what filters did I use to make this effect look good? <laughs> I don't remember what I did. Because it clearly wasn't just hard light. <laughs> well, time to go through every filter and find out. Oh, it might be screen. I didn't use red. What color did I use? Like more pinkish? Yeah, maybe. In between those, though. Okay. No, not multiply. Uh... What filter did I use? Might be, it might be like this, like about this much. Where I have this on my playlist? God damn, this one's old. This one's like, this covers from eight years ago. What I mean by that, I just scrolled down on this video and I saw that I commented on it eight years ago when it came out. I wrote, <laughs> 49th and awesome song. What did I mean by that? What did I mean? What 49th what? Was I the 49th viewer on this? Oh, you know, that probably what it was. I was probably the 49th viewer. Oh no, 49th comment. I think that's what it was. Oh yeah, that's cringe. Oh, eight, year, eight years ago me is cringe. I think that's what I meant. <laughs> I wish I knew what colors I used on this. Is that the blush effect so well? But I'm struggling to recreate it. Oh, wait. Hmm, maybe. This might be it. This might be it. This might be the color I used. I'm definitely gonna, this is definitely just layout. I'm gonna color pick some colors later. I just realized. I'm gonna do that now.
bueno. And we also need the lines. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm dumb. This is probably the exact color I used. The color for the lines right here. Thanks, past me, for drawing those lines in the exact color I did everything else. That's pro that's a hundred percent it. It's a hundred percent the color I used. I remember. Now it's just time to find the filter that I used. Probably was just hard light or something. That's it, that's like nearly the exact same color. At least in terms of color picking, that is like perfect. <laughs> say what if I played Majora's Mask or Ocarina of Time on this stream but I feel like I don't know I feel like those wouldn't make good streams plus everyone who plays them is speedrunning them and I wouldn't be speedrunning I don't know Plus, that feels like a game I could easily get mad at, and I don't think when I actually get genuinely mad at a game, it's very fun to watch. Like when I do get genuinely mad. Like, when I... What? I was gonna use a certain game as an example, which reminds me I need to do that. Did I redeem that last stream? I feel like I did. I did. Two streams since we started the counter. <laughs> a certain game... I do get. Well, it's not complaining. Yeah, it's not complaining. I won't count it. It does. This this next thing I'm about to say about Xenoblade 2 does not count as complaining for the counter. I, when I get mad at Xenoblade 2, I am genuinely mad, but it's funny mad. If I get mad at, like, Pokemon, it's not that funny. Like, it's not that funny mad. It's just, like, come on, Pokemon. Why are you so shit? Why are you so dumb? funny man. There's only one time I think I was like not funny mad at Xenoblade 2. And it's when I spent two hours grinding. I loaded up for the stream. 
like, and it crashes. Because, let me tell you, when I played, I have, I have an embarrassing amount of hours in Xenoblade 2. That is the second crash I ever had in Xenoblade 2. Like, it almost sounded fake when I, when I opened the game the second I opened the game on stream and it crashed immediately. It sounded fake, like I intended it for it to crash. Like, I felt, I felt dumb because did, I did sound like it was fake, but it was genuine. The game did crash, and that is the second time the game had ever crashed. And it was after two hours of grinding, and I didn't save yet. Probably because I just played, like, Xenoblade 1. And Xenoblade 1 on the Switch specifically has autosave. So I don't save ever in the Switch version. <laughs> but still, bullshit. <laughs> Complete and utter bullshit that it crashed then, and we had to fucking speed run me grabbing shit to undo the crash or uh, regain the progress the crash made me lose. <laughs> like when that happened, I don't think that was entertaining when I was like genuinely upset trying to speed run everything I did. Fuck, I did complain. Yeah, I didn't mean to talk about the crash. Does that count? Anything that counts? I think that counts. As me complaining about Xenoblade 2, that it, that it crashed. <laughs> Is that really a complaint, though? I didn't, like, talk about the gameplay or game design. I just talked about that it crashed. And that was the second time. That, that's, that's everyone else's call. Does that count for the counter? For how many days I've gone without Xenoblade 2 complaining? Does that count? I'll, t I'll take it if it counts, but I don't know. Because any game could technically crash. <laughs> I think this one looks good. The angry one is definitely the one I don't think looks too good. Ah, the sippy one. The sippy one I think looks the best. It looks, it almost looks like I made the sip emo and then I made all the ones after it, honestly. Like it almost looks like I intended for the sip emo to be the only emo that I made. But it was like the third one. <laughs> sip emo definitely looks the best. If only Yokio was here, he'd be the tiebreaker. If that counts as, in, as complaining. Rotated it on the neck point, so like right here. Fuck, I need the ear one selected too. with the hair. <laughs> you 
You know what I've been watching a lot of recently? Ooh. I've been watching a lot of American Dad. Like, re-watching old seasons. And that shit's funny. Like, I don't care what anyone says. They said people who, like, got mad at me for watching those shows. But I'm like, American Dad's just genuinely funny. And also, like, weird coincidence, while I was in, like, the middle of watching it, I saw on, like, Twitter, people were, like, posting, like, older clips of the show and being like, man, this show is hilariously underrated. And I'm like, oh my god, my people. <laughs> so right, though? Just show's so good? Should I still make it how it is in the current sip emote where it's like a medieval soda? Or should I keep it? Or should I make it a normal can? It's not even going to be visible, so I don't care about the line art being messy. And then I can just be ugly with this part because it's off screen. connector not connecting lines. <laughs>
again, like, so there's a line right here that's where it's getting cut off. I'm not going to worry about it looking good past that point. <laughs> it's past the, the line. <laughs> We're not going to make it more visible. It's past this square. I'm not worrying about how good it looks. We're cutting it off. Picture of someone holding a fucking water. Any of them guys out there? I mean, every picture is like someone chugging it. When they're chugging it, your hands are gonna be different. On. Sipping water, straw. They may find an art piece, but their hand is cut off. It's almost like people don't like drawing hands or something. water bottle. <laughs> eh, this works. Hello. Ah, oh, it's a gif. I can't copy and paste it into my art program. Uh, I wish I could... I wish this program just supported gifs. Like, if I could just drag a gif in and it opens it into, like, a timeline. And then go frame by frame. That'd be... You know, Clip Studio, I would pay for your stupid little upgrade since you've changed your payment program and it sucks now. I would pay for the new version of Clip Studio Paint if they added the ability to drag GIFs into the fucking program and have it work. If they did that, I'd pay for it. I'd pay for it right now. Clip Studio, you would squeeze another $100 out of me to buy the new version if you fucking did that right now. <laughs> like I'm just like I'm three handing this shit no ref for me
If I'm holding on, let me pick up a water bottle about the same size. So if I'm holding it, it would be like this. Pointer finger is going to be back some. It, well, so I'm not, I didn't draw the hand as if it's wrapped around the water, which is what is happening. Thank goodness I have a water bottle this exact size. <laughs> It's so hard to press undo while I'm using my other hand as a fucking hand. I need a reference, but there's no references <laughs> on Google. Let's draw the other hand first. Or sketch, I guess. for future me to do. Should have sketched this when I was drawing the hands. such an intrusive autosave. Like the previous art program I used before this, which was a long time ago, had a very seamless autosave. You couldn't even tell when the autosave happened. <laughs> this one, it like, it's like, oh, hold on. Stop drawing for like 20 seconds. Let the autosave go through. It's like, every other program can like autosave without stopping me. Why can't you?
Okay, the fingers look fine, but the thumb here, or not the thumb, but the rest of the hand that wrap around. exact angle and I can just say it's Practice drawing hands last time, so I should probably use that practice. Like this. This hand big enough. This hand's tiny. You like this big. It's so useful that you can basically use heads for anything in art, like to measure shit. It's like, oh, a hand is about from, you know, chin to eyebrow. <laughs> See? That's the size of a hand. Torso width is a little bit bigger than a head. I should make the bottle bigger so that it can fit the hand. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make the bottle bigger so it fits the hand. <laughs>
list I should rewatch, but I still haven't. Boys Over Flowers. Specifically, the Japanese drama adaptation. Never finished it. Finished season one, got a little bit into season two, never finished it, but it's good shit. Oh, that's what... Do you know what I just remembered? There was a few watch parties in the Discord that I'm like, I forgot because I never wrote them down. Which ones we were going to do right after what we finish. Boys Over Flowers was one of the watch parties we were going to do. It's a Japanese drama. It's very funny. And it has a really weird history. I think the Korean adaptation of it is the most popular one. So there's there's six versions of the show. Uh, original is a Japanese anime from like the 80s. The second version is the... I don't know what the second version is. I think it's Korean. Then there was a Japanese drama version, so live action. Then there was like a Korean drama version a chinese version which i don't remember if it was an if it was animated or live action no i think it was a movie chinese movie of it i should just look it up i don't know what i'm trying to remember there's six versions and the most recent one the most recent adaptation of it came out like in 2018 i think and it was another movie all versions of boys over flowers. All right, I got it. So, original 1995 Japanese anime. Number two, the second version, 2002 ta Taiwanese version. I didn't know it was Taiwanese. I'm opening the full Wikipedia page. Wait. No, I was wrong. Why is it so complicated? So there's one anime. So, okay, it's the first version. Japanese movie live action. 1995. 1996 anime, but I think it also comes from a manga. <laughs> Shit, wait, okay, wait, no, okay, I got I got the order now, I got the order now down. It's, it's written in a very confusing way. Original, manga, 1992, Japanese. Second, 1995 live action movie, I believe, I don't know. Yeah, live action movie. Second, 1996 anime, Japanese. <laughs> Third version, Taiwanese live action show, so drama, I think. <laughs> Fourth version, no, fifth version we're on now. Japanese live action drama entire series plus a film i guess it says at the end of that series the movie takes place next version korean i believe it's a dub of the japanese drama but it changes the story of it by being a dub then chinese remake of the original taiwanese drama <laughs> Also live action. And now the most recent version in 2021 and just finished airing in 2022. <laughs> Another Thailand version and I, and it's a show. That's how many versions there are. I'm pretty sure the most popular version is the Korean dub of the Japanese drama, but I've only seen the Japanese drama version. <laughs> I should watch the anime version, honestly. Most because 1996, dude, I love 90s anime, just specifically the art style. <laughs> I'll finish the live action version first, 
and then compare and contrast it to the anime. <laughs> it's weird how the most popular versions of this show are um, live action when it was originally a manga. Like that, that feels so weird. Manga into live action, then into an anime, and then into like nine live action an adaptations. <laughs> Guess it. I mean, it's not like it needs to be animated because of the it's the drama. It's very a realistic show. It's not like it's not like characters are fucking flying around or have crazy hairstyles. It's just. Characters go to high school, romance, drama ensues. <laughs> so it doesn't, there's no reason it can't be a live action. It's just weird that every version is live action except for one. Why am I drawing this hand so tiny? So I'm pretty sure it's like the most popular Japanese drama to like ever be made. If that also helps. But I cannot draw these hands for the life of me. And this hand was fine, but it's just time. Uh, I don't want to make it bigger. I'll, I'll give it the same size. like around the model real quick to see drawing like hands I feel like are kind of easy to draw except when like the palm is curved then it gets hard like the palm being curved I think is like the thing that adds complexity to a hand so you can curve the palms I pressed the lasso button like nine times and it didn't open at all. Focusing on such a small part of it, but if it looks off, it will be very distracting. Well, I think this will help. 
guys. The fucking.